Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center, and today we're talking about the Foff Quilt Ambition 630. In this video, I'm going to do an overview of the machine. So to start with, we have the plugs over here for the power and the foot control. Here we have the hand wheel, and if you, if you turn it by hand, make sure you're turning it towards you. Here we have the stitch chart. And back here we have the handle for lifting your machine. So I'll open this stitch chart like this. Up here we have the spindle for winding the bobbin. Here we have a cutter for cutting the thread. Once you've wound your bobbin, you can cut your thread right there. Here we have the spool pin. And on the spool pin, we have a spool cap right there. And in a future video, I'll show you all about threading. So, but this is just an overview. So here we have the guide for um, winding your bobbin. And here's some more guides for that. Here we have guides for threading the machine and the take up lever is right in there. Down here, we have another thread guide. This the needle bar thread guide, keeps the thread right next to the needle. Here we have a threader, a really nice feature on this machine, works really well. Back here, is the buttonhole lever. And then on the side here, we have a thread cutter. So you, once you're done sewing, you can cut your threads right there. Over here is a dial for the presser foot pressure. It regulates how tightly the presser foot pushes against your fabric. It has uh, N for neutral. I usually like to leave it on N but you can make it less if you have like a knit that tends to stretch out. Okay, and then you have your accessory tray with a front compartment and a back compartment. You can take this off and you've got a free arm. Now the free arm is great for doing pant legs like if you're sewing uh, around a pant leg to shorten your pants. You can do that with this. Behind here, you have a lever. Now I'm going to take off the presser foot so you can see that. A lever to move the feed dogs, a switch. And see, now they're down. So that would be good for if you're doing free motion quilting or darning where you need to move the fabric back and forth in a lot of different directions. To put that back up, just move the switch back and then take a single stitch and it comes right back up. This is a quick change foot. You just lower your presser lever onto the foot like that. All right, I don't have it back far enough. I have, was sitting at an angle. Your presser lifter is right back here. It's got a little extra lift to it. Uh, so if you have something thick and lofty like uh, fleece or batting or something, you need to be able to lift it a little bit higher. It's easy to do that. Okay, then you have the needle plate. And the needle plate has lines on it, which is really convenient for doing, say, an even 5 8 inch seam where you're uh, trying to get 5 8 of an inch from the edge of your fabric. You can run the edge of your fabric right along the line there. It's also got a quarter inch uh, line right here if you're doing quarter inch seams. Here we have the cover for the bobbin, and you'll just lift your bobbin out like that. Again, we're gonna have a threading video, so you get to learn all about that. Okay, here we have the reverse button. So if you're sewing, you'd push this reverse button at the beginning and at the end of your seam to get that nice uh, tie off. Here we have the start stop button. Now the start stop button is going to work whether or not you have your foot control connected. And I'll show you that. Here we go, and here we go. Either way. Then we have the cutter button, and since I don't have it threaded, uh, I'll just tell you, it cuts the threads once you're done sewing. Um, so there's lots of different ways to cut your thread. Uh, you can, of course, use your scissors, you can use the cutter button, and you can use this little cutter on the side here. This is the tie-off button. What the tie-off button is, it makes a little bit of stitch, almost like a knot when you engage it. And it's a little bit different than your um, back stitch button because it just makes a, a smaller tie off. This is your needle up, needle down. So if you push this, the needle is down. Now notice this little light lights up. That means when that's engaged and you're sewing along, it will stop with needle down. Now you can push this again to make the needle come up. With a needle up, start sewing, it's gonna stop with a needle up. 
Okay, and then this is your touch screen. Now, I'm not gonna get into a whole lot of this right now. Uh, I will do this on my basic operations video, but just to let you know, you've got the picture of the stitch that this machine is set for right now. I mean, you can set it into different stitches, but this is what the picture looks like. This is the number of that stitch right there. Over here is the recommended presser foot, that the OA foot, and that's what's on the machine right now, zero A, and whether it recommends the IDT. Now I'm gonna show you the IDT is really interesting, and, and I'll show you it further in the operations video. But the IDT is this little guy right back here that slides down, and what it does is like feed dogs on the top. It works really wonderfully, and neat thing about it is, when you're sewing and you push the reverse button, it feeds in reverse. So it's an active uh, upper feed dog. So this is the recommendation that you have it there. This is your, uh, your thread tension. Now the thread tension is something you can set in settings if you want, but that's a good middle of the road thread tension for if you have the same thread on the top and the bottom, the same weight of thread, you want a good even thread balance. Um, this is getting into the different stitches. If you push that center button, you've got all these different stitches. You can page ahead, uh, whole groups of stitches. You can go that way. To get out of this screen, just push the red X. Here we have for sequencing, that would be for if you wanted a lot of different kinds of stitches in a, in a row, um, you could do that. Here we have sequencing for lettering. And then, um, and that would be uppercase, lowercase, uh, your, your Cyrillic letters or, or your European letters, and of course numbers too. And you could put a little space in there. Down here we have for settings, and this is where you can set your thread tension is right in here. So instead of having a dial somewhere, you have it right here in settings. Twin needle, that has to do with uh, if you're sewing with a twin needle or not. And uh, right now we're not, so we don't have that um, in there. Okay. Audible alarm. I like to have the audible alarm on because it tells me if I've pushed a button or something. Okay, to get out of settings, you can just push uh, regular sewing right up there. Okay, so that's the overview on this machine. Stay tuned for our other videos. If this has been helpful, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, you can leave them that in that in the area down below. And um, Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.